Rob Clementi, the Chief Executive of 10, the Education Network. Sydney Barrister Sydney Jacobs is speaking at our annual Property Law Conference online in February. Sydney is with me today for a sneak peek at what he's going to be talking about in his paper on easements. Sydney, thanks so much for joining us. I understand you plan to pick over the bones of 2022 cases on easements. And I guess it's a bit of a smorgasbord, as easements usually are. Can you tell us what's hot and what's new? Rob, my pleasure and privilege. Uh, the first case that I will uh, dissect will be a 2022 Victorian Supreme Court case on the doctrine of the lost modern grant that some people also call prescription. And we all know that in cases like that, courts have to delve into evidence of the use of this track or that vineyard going back over decades and sometimes a century. And they have to divine what long dead people would have thought, said and done. So I will look at one case, uh, 2022 Supreme Court case on that topic that I think that the uh, colleagues who attend will find quite interesting. Another case that I will look at will be uh, the old chestnut of a stopple. It's a bit like uh, the old wine in new bottles. And we all know that proprietary interest can be gained by a stopple. And I will look at a, a New South Wales Court of Appeal case from 2021 in which one party contended for an easement by a stopple, including to use a swimming pool on someone else's uh, rooftop, I think it might have been. So that was all quite uh, interesting. Then, of course, we all know that uh, people can sometimes get a little bit protective of their space. And I'll look at a crack in 2022 New South Wales Supreme Court case where one party contended successfully that they were so beset by the CCTV cameras of the servient owner that their privacy had in fact been invaded. And in the course of uh, discussing that and sharing that, uh, sharing that with uh, our colleagues who attend, uh, I'll talk about a wonderful old case that has lain collecting dust in the libraries that has been resuscitated uh, in that case and will now um, have a degree of primacy. Uh, then what would an easement case be without a nuisance? I've already alluded to one easement case uh, where there was a nuisance. And I'll talk about another easement case, a 2022 Supreme Court New South Wales, which speaks about one party wishing to build at a certain horizontal plane above a right of way. The cases on that topic are few and far between. So this is a good case because it refreshes and gives a ready reckoner of all of those other cases that deal with the ability of the servient owner to build up into whatever cubic space I ever so described remains under his dominion once he, she, or it has granted a right of way. And then to round things off, I will look at a 2020 High Court case that puts center stage, center stage the philosophy of the Torrens system in its application to easements and covenants. Ever since Westfield High Court in 2007, 2007 there's been a bit of a slow-mo avalanche building of, uh, uh, of, of, of courts looking at the philosophy of the Torrens system to decide whether a particular easement or covenant is valid or not. And I will look at a rag bag of cases in that category which look at things like the power of the registrar general in different states to correct the register and things like that. So I uh, sincerely hope that uh, colleagues find that, that interesting and, um, and that we have good collegiate debate in the course of that. And if there is time, if there is time after all of that debate, and as a bonus case, I might throw in uh, a 2021 South Australian Supreme Court of Appeal case that looked at a question that at least I find interesting, and that is where an easement has written into itself the seeds of its own destruction. For example, a right of way that is valid only until a brick house is built at the 34th meter. Is that valid? 
or does that contravene the philosophy of the Torrent system? Rob, that's my lecture. Speaking baton over to you. Sydney, thank you very much for that very comprehensive introduction to what you plan to talk about. And for those listening to the program today, if you want to know more about the New South Wales Property Law Conference, you can register for the conference by going to our website at tved.net.au. In the meantime, thank you very much for listening. Thank you.